This might sound impossible, but inside that building right there is a New York City apartment that's over a hundred years old. How high are the ceilings? 16 feet. What? That's as tall as LeBron James. This column is original and so are the window frames. And we're here to see if reimagining a historic building like this was a good idea or a not so good idea. Oh, no way. Look at those windows. Now, when I first saw this, I thought that this was gonna be the most interesting part of the bathroom, but I think I might have to go with the shower head. I don't even think Elon Musk has this. Look at these arms. Oh, that's cool. If you were gonna build a playground for adults that they were gonna live in, this is exactly what it would look like. But the most interesting thing about this building might be that it's actually over a hundred years old. That's right. It might be the most futuristic looking thing on the block, but beneath all the glass is the 1870 Tiffany and Company's headquarters. That's that's right, this building is old, even though it looks new. So if you look closely inside the bank, you can see the old windows behind the new windows. Isn't that interesting? Right here at the entrance to the hat store, you can see more of these massive columns. And the reason they kept everything is because the internal structure of this building is impossible to remake. And at the time this was built, the building codes were different. And that's why the apartments inside are so cool and unique. But wait, there's more. Look, right there, Union Square. That's right, it's literally across the street. And today the farmer's market is happening. You can get yourself some fancy artwork. An avocado from the world's richest man who owns owns Whole Foods. Excuse me, world's richest astronaut. And right there, you can ride any of these trains for about $3. If that's not a night out on the town, I don't know what is. Now for reference, that's the building and look, we've got all this green right here, which means this is like having a backyard that you share with thousands of New Yorkers you've never met before. Fun fact, the Union Square lawn is now open so you can have your coffee out there under the trees. You can get yourself some onions, baked goods. Hey, that's a lavender store. And this is another bread store and another vegetable vegetable market. Why are all the stores the same? Is this the illusion of choice? And that red pepper is the size of a basketball. What's up, LeBron? Could you palm that? Probably not. Ooh, fresh blueberries. If you live here, you'll probably be in the best shape of your life. Now, if you've never been to this part of Union Square, the best part of it is actually the northern section. Right up here, you have a whole bunch of shops. And now we're technically in the Flatiron District, which is why there's gelato, this place, and Taco Bell. There's one around here somewhere. And Paragon, they been in the neighborhood for a long time. 1908, almost as long as today's apartment. What's up? Hello. You brought me to the coolest one bedroom I've ever seen. How much does it cost? Uh, it's now listed for almost 3 million. It's almost 1,600 square feet, so it's very large for a one bedroom. My two bedroom, 500 square feet. I think it fits in just the living room. <laughs> it does. I need to upgrade. There in the ceiling, you see that line? That is for the central air and the central heat. And by the windows, you can see we've got vents here. It's a modern apartment where it needs to be. But as you can see, it still has its soul. Now we're in a doorman building. Does the building have amenities? Oh yes, it has actually a swimming pool. Really? It doesn't have a lot of residents, so you won't be sharing it with too many people. And we're not allowed in because they care about resident privacy or exactly. something? Exactly, they do care about resident <laughs> privacy, so we can't. Is there a secret in here? There is a secret. Right. Oh! Hey, look at that! I thought there wasn't gonna be anything in here, but we got laundry. This is what, a powder room? That's what they call it? That's a powder room, so when your guests are over, you don't have to bring them up to use the bathroom. And that way they don't think that if they invite themselves over and they stay for too long, that they get their own place to take a shower. <laughs> Just outside the bathroom, we have a really nice looking coat closet here. Inside, we got the box for all your cables, all your wires. And inside, there is a free Samsung vacuum in the exact same make and model that I have, which is a sign you should buy this place. Also, the doors and hinges in here they're heavy, they're very solid feeling, like it's just a very, very nice, um, what am I trying to say? You know when you go to Home Depot and you open and close the doors that they're trying to sell you? This feels absolutely nothing like that. It actually takes work. It could be a workout if you don't want to go to the gym. Ooh, drawer style, and we got two of them. 
Is it a Sub-Zero? It is a Sub-Zero. It looks like a small kitchen, but it's actually massive and there's so much in here, like this wine cooler, for example. This is a really nice touch over in the corner. If you can't cook, you'll be happy that there's a high-end microwave and coffee maker. Man, that's money. I haven't seen that in too many places. I'm sure that other landlords could have got it and sold it to you, but these guys did. Nice, big looking dishwasher hidden away. And this Viking oven is so big, I don't know if it's regulation size. The range here looks like it might have been stolen from a restaurant. Listen to that vent. So there's six burners just for one bedroom. Think about that. So many one bedrooms, they have the worst kitchens, but this is incredible. It's like a chef's kitchen in an apartment. We got the LED lights, the metal backsplash. Look at these cabinets. We got pull out drawers and trays. Look at that, everything in here is so functional. It's a big apartment, 1600 square feet and they're not wasting any space. Every single cabinet here has a pull out sliding drawer. Every single one, no exceptions. Ooh, look at that water pressure. That's almost terrifying. And we're a nine out of 10 on the reachability score. Also, you could probably feed an army of Vikings by putting stools here and making this a breakfast bar. Look at these columns too. We don't know if those are original, but they sure look like it. And this stone, I don't know what material it is, but it ain't plastic. And it's crazy that there's so much taking up so little space in here. living room and not like just have your soul get touched by how, how nice it is. Where would you put the dining table? Uh, I think I put it along the windows over there. I guess under the stairs you could use this for storage of some some ilk. You could definitely get a little home office under here. And even though this is a big place, you're not gonna have problems plugging things in because we've got floor outlets. Whatever type of layout you wanna get in here, you will be able to get no problem. It's quiet like a library in here, right? It is very quiet. It's a small street, so there's not a lot of traffic. Technically, this is 15th Street, and the reason there's like no traffic is because the park is right down here and it's a one-way street. So cars have to go this way and nobody does that. So you get the street view, which everybody wants to look at, but nobody wants to hear, and you don't need earmuffs. Yes. Oh, that's electric, uh, electric windows. That's cool, and we have electric shades too, so you don't need manual labor to do anything in here. And look, this switch here actually opens this window, so you can get quite a bit of fresh air in this place. But the coolest part of this has to be the staircase because this brings us to the second floor. It's very easy, easy to navigate. It's metal, it's glass, you can see through it. There's lights just like on an airplane. And when you're up here, look at this. You've got the crow's nest view of the entire place. And you see this fancy knob? This is actually a second entry. So if you wanna just come home and go right to sleep, you can. How many one bedrooms do you think have a bedroom that's this size? That I don't know, but I know there are lots of one bedrooms that are just this size. <laughs> Look at these windows. That is such a cool feature. They're half the size of the other ones. Many lofts in this neighborhood have no light on the upper section. And look at how sunny this bedroom is. It's very pleasant to look at. Well, in a lot of lofts, you really don't have that much light. So this is very unique because it has windows on the wide side of the apartment and not on the short side of the apartment. Look, we got the fan fancy old school ceilings. Those by themselves just add so much. Also up here in the windows, you can even keep stuff like your phone maybe. But again, the coolest part here has to be these old columns and just all this character that we have built in and the windows and our quiet street. Do you see the closet? There's a closet. Oh, back here. Ooh, oh, this is nice. But there's a problem. You lied to me, this is a two bedroom. <laughs> Could you rent this out? The full studio. A f it is. Yeah. Even the corner right here has stuff built in. It comes out. Oh, cool. It's like a. Ties. Nice. Yeah, a little tie rack. Not owning any ties myself. I was confused as to this purpose. Look at all this storage. This is marvelous. Where would you put the bed? I would put the bed over here because then from the bed, it gets a little bit of the park view. Mm. I'm sure you could put some plants or maybe like a desk or something in these windows. It's just ready for something. Yes, so one of our tenants actually did have a workspace right here. If you're gonna use that as an entrance, you could totally get like a coat rack or something by it. And if the bed is on the opposite wall here, it's still gonna feel like a massive room and it's gonna look super impressive. 
These bathrooms are awesome. I love the little uh, rounded design of the sink here. We got the little sconce lights built into the mirror. These look like they open. Do they open? Ooh, look at that. Lots of storage. These are both pop out medicine cabinets as well. Beneath the sink, we have drawers here. Plus you could use this space for something. You've got yourself plenty of counter space. And after you walk in, you've got the main portion of the bath, which is a fairly sizable room to be honest with you. The tub is also super classic. Look at the cool little designs in the feet. We've got like a glass art piece. This all looks super fancy too. And this, it's like almost got a real art deco feel to it. But dun, 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 over here on the other side of this frosted glass wall, we have the seat of achievement. This is pretty nice. All the glass here has been frosted over. So lots of privacy. And there's lots of elbow room for flipping through your favorite TikToks. And of course, since these windows are massive, we have ourselves some blinds, which are mechanical. You don't have to lower them yourself. This is basically an apartment that rewards all of your hard work by doing the little things for you. Guys, thanks to Anya for showing us a great place. This is sweet. Thank you. Do you have more like this? We do. We do, all right. So then we'll be seeing her in places like this in future videos. If you wanna buy, right here's all her info. Thank you. Thank you.